Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Although scarab amulets were sometimes placed in the tombs as part of the deceased's personal effects, or as jewelry, generally they have no particular association with ancient Egyptian funerary rites. There are, however, three types of specifically funerary scarabs, heart scarabs, pectoral scarabs, and naturalistic scarabs. Heart scarabs became popular in the early New Kingdom and remained in use until the Third Intermediate Period. They are large scarabs, typically 4 cm to 12 cm long, often made from dark green or black stone and are not pierced for suspension. The base of a heart scarab was usually carved, either directly or on a gold plate fixed to the base, with hieroglyphs which named the deceased and repeat some or all of spell 30b from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. The spell commands the deceased's heart, typically left in the mummy's chest cavity unlike the other viscera, not to give evidence against the deceased when the deceased is being judged by the gods of the underworld. It is often suggested that the heart is being commanded not to give false evidence, but the opposite may be true. The Book of the Dead requires the heart scarab to be made of green Nemeheth stone, but a variety of green or dark colored stones were used. Heart scarabs were often hung around the mummy's neck with a gold wire, and the scarab itself was held in a gold frame. From the 25th dynasty onwards, large, typically 3 to 8 centimeter long, relatively flat, uninscribed pectoral scarabs were sewn, via holes formed at the edge of the scarab, onto the chests of mummies together with a pair of separately made outstretched wings. These were mainly made uh, from faience and glazed blue. The association of pectoral scarabs appears to be with the god Kepri, who is often depicted within the same form. A third kind of funerary scarab is the naturalistic scarab. These were relatively small scarabs, typically 2 cm to 3 cm long, made from a wide variety of hard stones and faience, and are distinguished from other scarabs by having naturalistic carved 3D bases, which often also include an integral suspension loop running widthways. Groups of these funerary scarabs, often made from different materials, formed part of the battery of amulets which protected mummies in the late period. When a person died and went to their final judgment, the gods of the underworld would ask many detailed and intricate questions which had to be answered precisely and ritually according to the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Since many people of those days were illiterate, even placing a copy of this scroll in their coffin would not be enough to protect them from being sent to hell for giving a wrong answer. As a result, the priests would read the questions and their appropriate answers to the beetle, which would then be killed, mummified, and placed in the ear of the deceased. When the gods then asked their questions, the ghostly scarab would whisper the correct answer into the ear of the supplicant, who could then answer the gods wisely and correctly. 